any anything in the arts, like trying to be an artist and trying to make money is kind of an uphill battle. If you're driven and you're motivated and you're talented, there's no reason you can't build your own business. I've been playing piano and singing since I was maybe four. And I think I started playing guitar when I was 10. I was born in Minneapolis, but I've been in LA for eight years. I've lived in New York twice in those eight years. And when I was younger, I dressed like Blossom and really crazy and lots of colors and hats and stripes and polka dots and flowers. And then when I was hit 13, I was all like, you know, black eyeliner and black leather jackets. And my dad's a musician. He wrote the Friends theme song. He's in a band called the Reverence. It had a big impact on me. Yeah, I really wanted my dad to like, I wanted to impress him. Started modeling when I was like four and acting. My mom was modeling and she, uh, I think she brought me on a photo shoot and they took some pictures of me and then I got a Target job shortly after that. Started really pursuing music, got signed to Interscope and then everything sort of started to fall apart with my record label and my deal. In some ways I, I wasn't ready musically and, and I wasn't ready emotionally. My mom was really, really into fashion when I was growing up. She had a clothing store and her mother is a designer. They are very eccentric, very like over the top eccentric. My grandmother has purple hair and makes all her own clothes still today. She's Tom Mastery, she's my mom's sister. She was a big DJ like in the 70s and 80s here in LA. So that's her and Patti Smith as well. She was a huge influence on me musically and stylistically. This dress belonged to my aunt who passed away like three years ago and I got a lot of her clothes and jewelry. And I've had it, um, I've had it mended like 15 times. I've just worn it to death. I'll sleep in it, I'll wear it for weeks. It completely falls apart. I love Bianca Jagger in her white suit on her wedding day. I think this was a dress though. I want to have like sort of an iconic image, I think black jeans and a t-shirt does it just as well as a white suit. I'm like such a creature of habit, I will wear the same outfit for months. I'll have like two or three that I just, I can't take them off. I don't think I've taken this jacket off since they gave it to me. It's falling apart and I can't even bear to bring it to the tailor to have it fixed because I don't want to part with it for a day. These boots I got at the Rose Bowl and I put red laces in them. I woke up one morning and I needed red shoelaces. I think when I was younger, I fed into that fantasy more of like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and this is this is how you do it, and you know, fuck it all. I've noticed that a lot of the women that I admire don't seem to be out of control, and I, it certainly didn't help me when I was. Massively influenced by David Bowie, by the Pretenders, the Kinks, the Beatles, like Bowie was like my number one. The child was my nickname. It went from child model to just the child. Where's the child? The child coming tonight. It sort of stuck. <laughs> when it came time to name our band, we were like, everything sucks. Every band name on the planet is horrible until it actually becomes something legitimate. It's just, it's they're all embarrassing. So we went through names for months and months and months. And finally I was like, the child, that's it, that's it. I. I started a band in LA with my now drummer Norm, and the child was born. <laughs> I don't think there are any limits to what you can have. I think you're able to, with, with hard work, you can become whoever you want to be, you get whatever you want. It's just a matter of deciding and knowing what you want. There's no way I could, I could have the, you know, the head on my shoulders that I have today if I hadn't gone through something sort of traumatic learn from it. I think it's important to learn from your mistakes and change your behaviors. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to be really mad and be like, everyone, I'm always known as Phil's daughter and I'm so sick of it and so sick of standing in your shadow. And he's like, someday I'll be known as Holly's dad. And a few weeks ago, he was like, it's happening. I'm Holly's dad now.